Hey, what is going on? It's your boy Alex coming at y'all with a brand new video. And as you guys can see, we have a bunch of new, you know, reward cards that are Galaxy Opals. And the rumor for this is that these are token reward players. And if you guys are wondering where I'm getting that from, if you check this out here, the people that data mined these cards, it says tokens reward and players club update. So most likely we have some new token reward players coming. It looks like only for the Galaxy Opal tier, but that kind of makes sense. We have a Nicholas Batum, Gilbert Arenas, Jan Jackson Jr., John Collins, Richard Jefferson, Muhammad Bamba, and Bo Bo. All honestly really good cards overall, but I am a little upset that we got another Gilbert Arenas because we already had, you know, one. But it is what it is. And there's a bunch of other players' club cards if you guys want to see. You know, we got Kyle Anderson, Rudy Gobert, we got Eddie Curry, um, Terrence Davis, Seth Curry, Ryan Hollins, Elise Johnson, Frank Mason, Damian Dotson, Sham Dree, Pons. Interesting, Abdel Nader, George Nyang, Wesley Awundu, and you know, some pretty nice ones overall. But we're gonna start off with Nicholas Batum for our wonderful little you know token reward update that we have here. That being a six foot nine small forward shooting guard, which is beautiful, and a seven foot wingspan. Obviously, we can shoot like crazy. It's Nicholas Batum. We have amazing dropping dunking. We got awesome playmaking. The defense across the board is great. Plus, that 94 interior is gonna be so 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 clutch. Super quick as well, 95 and all of his speeds which is great, and is only missing pump fake, maestro, and steady shooter, and shooting, um, deep pokes, drop separate, pick and roller, in the finishing, and everything else he has, badge-wise, including 51 hops, and you know, we got the big ones, we got hot 100, we got quick drop, we got range extender, we even have gold moving chuck as well, this Batum could be one of the top, you know, 10 shooting guards in the game, depending on, because, you know, he's got that jump shot, 40, which is beautiful, we got the long athlete layup package, our moving cross is pro threes, that's the same as a uh, Tracy McGrady, so, honestly, looking like a real, real nice card that I know a lot of people are gonna be wanting to pick up, because, I mean, come on, he's crazy, including myself, and even is loved in these true ratings right there at a 96 overall. So Nicholas Batum is going to be an absolute beaut to pick up. Next, we have the Galaxy Apple to Gilbert Arenas, who's a 6'3 with a 6'7 wingspan, 55 Hall of Fame badges, so definitely a bit better than the other one that we had. And almost 90 plus in every single stat besides the standing dunk, which is an 80, 85 interior, 84 offensive and 88 defensive rebounding, and an 84 post hook. Everything else is like, actually, if it's not those stats, it's a 95 or above, which is just unreal, including 99 in all of his speeds. I'm just going to do a quick little compare on Gilbert Arenas's current cards that he just got here in the token market, as well as this one right here. You just see these slight differences that we do get here. Um, barely changing in the three-point shooting, but that's because the other one was just so great. A lot better standing dunk, which is good. Better post game, which, you know, take it as it may. A little bit better in his uh, playmaking. The speed got a little bit better. The strength got a lot better to a 94. That's a big upgrade. Better <laughs> interior defense, better block as well. Better rebounding. And um, when it comes to badges, oh uh, yeah, I got a few of them here and there that definitely get an upgrade. The tendencies... Let's check out the defensive ones, still the same. They're not the greatest, but definitely not too bad. And it looks like, yeah, nothing changed. So if you like the other Gilbert Arenas, you'll like this one. But if I'm being honest, so far, I would definitely pick up a tomb over this Gilbert. Next up, Jaron Jackson Jr., 6'11", power forward center with a 7'4 wingspan, which is beautiful. I feel like this uh, Jaron Jackson is going to be similar to a Dino Raja, but has the same jump shot as uh, Muhammad Bamba, which is actually pretty good. The long athlete layup package has pro two sides of a moving cross, which is beautiful. Good contest shot, but a really high foul tendency, which is not good at all. But for our defense, it's going to be absolutely insane. Even as an 86 ball handle, so it can speed boost off rip. Great rebounding, great post game, great dunking. He can shoot the ball great. And he's super quick, 95 speed, 90 speed ball, and 95 acceleration. That is gorgeous. Even has half quick draw and range extender as well. All of these great defensive badges has, what, tight handles right there. And uh, Hoff Unpluckable, which is going to be crazy. And every single hot zone, the true ratings at Power Forward. Um, love him. Centers love him as well. So it could be great. And again, I feel like he's going to play similar to that of like a Dino Raja. It could be really fun. Next up, we have John Collins. And I'm not sure what his animations are. Lower base Kobe. Okay, so he's going to be like Zion Williamson or Wes Unseld. Maybe a Rudy Tomanovic, you know, similar, which is great. A 6'10 power forward center. Definitely run him at the power forward. Definitely not at the 5. Just personal opinion. I don't think John Collins is going to be able to hold his own too well when he's playing at the 5. But the long athlete layup package, some beautiful dunking animation. We got the Pro 1 size, Tracy McGrady size up package. And the Pro 3 cross, which is also a T-Mac. Looks like they tried to give him 
did they basically just give him Tracy McGrady's dribbling animation? Yes. So, John Collins is a power forward with basically Tracy McGrady dribble animations and the Kobe jump shot, which is great. Has a really high foul tendency, but nothing for defense, which is going to be really tough. But he can shoot great. He's super quick as well. Can even speed boost off rip just as a low pass accuracy. Great defense overall. Awesome rebounding. And overall, honestly, it doesn't look too bad. We got half quick John Rainey Center as well. We got gold unpluckable. We got tight handles. We got handles for days. Every defensive rebounding badge, at least every finishing, every shooting besides steady shooter, which is great. I just think the lack of tendencies is going to hurt him just a little bit, but still could be a pretty decent card if I am being honest. Um, oh, look at that. We can check out what it's like to add a shoe. Get another that cool upgrade. But next up, we have Pink Diamond Rich I mean, Galaxy Apple Richard Jefferson, the guy that I said was probably going to get an update. And the thing with this Richard Jefferson is he wasn't anybody's personal favorite when he was playing small forward power forward so i don't think he's gonna be anybody's favorite now he has jump shot 57 the same one as his richard jefferson which is a super slow jump shot has the long athlete layup package some great dribbling all in pro 2 which is awesome the tendencies are decent on defense nothing great um the stats obviously gonna be blessed up the defense is just absolutely insane he's got a good post game as well he can play make speed boost all crazy good driving to the basket there's the thing about that pink down richard jefferson even though his um, jump shot was really, really slow. He was still super quick. He could get to the basket great and dunk in everybody's head. And he can, you know, catch and shoot decently well, but off dribble, his jump shot, it really just is not it. It's not something that I'm really going to be looking for. So if I had to say and pick between, you know, these two shooting guards that we have, I definitely would go with a Nicholas Batum instead of Richard Jefferson. I feel like the two that I'm leaning towards right now are Nick Batum and Karen Jackson Jr., but this could all change with Muhammad Bamba, seven foot with a seven ten wingspan, which is unreal. Hop quick draw and range center as well. Also has that jump shot 109 like Jan Jackson Jr. Really great. The long athlete layup package. We have the Pro 5 size up, which is the Magic Johnson size up. The Pro 4 cross, which is, you know, John Morant. Not bad. Um, Pro 4 moving behind the back, similar to that of KD of Jamal Crawford. Um, definitely not great, but not bad at all. So overall, pretty decent for our tendencies. The shot contest, the contest shot and block shot are very low, but the on-ball seal is high. I'm not a fan of that. I wish we had a higher contest shot. That's actually letting me down a little bit. The tendencies on all these guys have been really bad besides a Nick Batum. Um, good shot three and shot mid. A great speed sporting acceleration on a, you know, seven foot center is crazy. Has an 83 ball handle, so definitely need to throw a uh, shoe on that so he can speed boost. But an 89 steal at 98 block is great. Awesome rebounding. The defense overall is going to be crazy. Even has quick first step as well. Almost every single defensive badge is Hall of Fame besides Lightning Reflex, which is gold, which is just beautiful. And I know so many people love that Amethyst Muhammad Bamba. So I'm just going to do a real quick check here just to see you know how much this one did increase over the end this which should be a real big change yeah definitely significantly better shooting amazingly better driving dunk better post game as well awesome playmaking now better rebounding better deep better all around across the board which is great and they should have very yeah they definitely changed all of his animation so Mohamed Pombo is looking like a beast and at last but not least we have our guy Galaxy of a Bull Bull who can play the small forward power forward and let's see they give him 89 strength those is him is not bad at all and he's got gold moving chalk which is good so hoping some negatives and a seven foot seven wingspan which is going to be crazy we have amazing dunking awesome post game a 90 ball handle with just insane playmaking awesome speed and 92 88 people ball the defense goes crazy just a low perimeter and steal which isn't bad and good rebounding for our tendencies all of them and i mean all of them are really low and not looking too good which is a little bit tough for our signature animation still has that beautiful michael beasley base that i absolutely love but on a bull bull because he's above that six foot ten range and he has that slightly slower i'm not the biggest fan of it but it's definitely not too bad we got the long athlete layup package y'all know we love that the pro four size up which is similar to you know, john moran vince carter things like that or a uh, Dwayne Wade, <laughs> there he is down there. Pro four, moving across. Elgin Baylor, Patrick Beverly, Savon Marbury, Marcus Cousins. Not not a bad one. The pro six, moving behind the back. Zach Levine is actually one that I really really like. Or Hito Tarkalu, if you guys know that. Definitely not too bad at all. Looking like a pretty decent card for our true ratings. Not really loved in either of them because you know these tendencies are just god awful. You know we have a very low contest shot, very low block shot, and a decent foul which we don't really want so if i had to be honest i think the two cards that are giving me a little bit of love 
are probably going to be Nicholas Batum and maybe Bull Bull. I forgot Jaron Jackson Jr. just has this really awful 99 foul tendency, which is going to get really annoying. So if I had to pick a card, it would probably be um, Bull Bull, Muhammad Bamba, and Nick Batum as a three that I would pick up. But if you don't already have some cheesy shooting guards like DeMar DeRozan and things like that, go ahead, pick up Nick Batum because he is going to absolutely change the game. Um, let me know which one of these guys you guys think is going to be the most worth it. And also keep an eye out for all of these Players Club locker codes that will be coming out very soon. Smash the like button down below. Comment down below who you guys are going to pick up. And subscribe if you guys are new. We are on that road to 6.9K. Hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you all in the next video.